What if I told you the oldest working door lock on Earth still knows how to keep a secret? Picture this. 4,000 years ago, before electricity, before steel keys, before the idea of privacy even had a name, someone gently slid a wooden bolt into place and trusted it with their life. That lock was discovered buried beneath the ruins of Shut Nineveh, once the beating heart of the Assyrian Empire. Nineveh was loud, crowded, alive. Dust hung in the air. Merchants shouted. Chariots rattled past mud-brick walls. Inside one ordinary home, a resident reached for a door that separated safety from chaos. No iron, no springs, just wood, carved with astonishing precision. At first glance, the lock seems simple, but look closer and a quiet brilliance reveals itself. Inside the door sat wooden pins, gravity-driven, carefully spaced. The key wasn't a blade, it was a wooden comb. When lifted just right, those pins aligned perfectly, freeing the bolt. Too high? It jammed. Too low? Nothing moved. Only the correct shape, the correct touch, opened the door. This wasn't brute force. It was logic. Engineering. Intention. Here's the twist. This design still works. Modern locksmiths have recreated it, tested it, unlocked it. The same principle used in millions of pin tumbler locks today, on your front door, your office, your bike, was already mastered by ancient hands working by oil lamp and instinct. Pause for a moment and imagine the person who built it. No blueprints, no textbooks, just observation, trial, failure and patience. Someone who understood friction before the word existed. Someone who knew that security wasn't about strength, it was about precision. And suddenly the lock stops being an object. It becomes a human story. A parent protecting grain from thieves. A merchant guarding silver. A family sleeping easier because a piece of carved wood stood watch through the night. As empires rose and collapsed, as Nineveh burned and was swallowed by earth, this lock endured. Not because it was indestructible, but because it was correct. The idea behind it was sound. That's the quiet miracle of early engineering. Not grandeur, but intimacy. Not monuments, but mechanisms. Proof that even in the ancient world, people worried about the same things we do. Safety, trust, and the thin line between inside and out. So the next time you turn a key and hear that soft click, remember, you're finishing a sentence that began 4,000 years ago. If this story unlocked your curiosity, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment about which ancient invention you'd want to see brought back to life.